In May 2010, this space will be teeming with over 8,000 researchers in the humanities and social sciences. Never before have so many people working in these areas been together at one time at Concordia. Hi, I'm Ronald Gruden. I'm the academic convener for the Congress of the Humanities and Social Sciences. It's an annual event that brings research together from all over Canada, and it's coming to Concordia in 2010. From May 28th to June 4th, 2010, thousands of delegates from dozens of learned societies will be coming to our campus from across the country. So what will this influx of exciting thinkers mean for Concordia? Let's try to put it into perspective. Just imagine having a few hundred historians debating ideas over a couple of days. Then, think of what an experience it would be for a young history student who has only heard his professors in a classroom. Now, he finds himself in the middle of discussions between leaders of his field debating ideas he'd never even thought about. Now multiply that image by 70 plus areas of study, and then imagine these experts debating between their fields of study and see what they come up with. That is what Congress 2010 is all about. Every Congress has a theme of its own that's chosen by the host university. For 2010, we at Concordia have chosen the theme Connected Understanding, or in French, Le Savoir Branché. So what does that mean? It speaks basically to the impact of digital technology, which has changed the way the research is done and has made it possible for new connections to be made between researchers. But it goes further than that. I'm standing in the Webster Library at Concordia where we're in the process of going open access. This movement for open access seeks to make research digital, online, free of charge, and free of most copyright and licensing restrictions. It's a belief that if research is publicly funded, its results should be public too. Open access is a theme of Congress and will have a long-lasting legacy here at Concordia. But this is only one of the themes we'll be looking at, and we'd love to hear your ideas too. Every Concordian can be an ambassador for Congress, and this includes everyone in the university, whether you're in the humanities and social sciences or not. This is an opportunity to show off the kind of research taking place from all parts of the university, but to do that, we need your help. In the end, Congress is a team event. It's not just a question of faculty, but it also includes everyone, from IT technicians to people who work in marketing, as well as those who are involved in putting Congress on. And of course, it also includes our students. You may be asking, why is this Congress so important at Concordia? And there are so many reasons. We'll be able to attract new graduate students and faculty and create new partnering opportunities. And more than anything, we'll be able to prove that Concordia is a world-class academic institution, a place where we can all be proud to work and study. Right now, I'm the main point person at Concordia for Congress 2010. And so over the next year, you'll be hearing from me from time to time with updates, especially as our website goes live. But right now, what I'd really like to do is to encourage you to send us your thoughts and ideas so this can be, for all of us, an unforgettable Congress experience.